and walks out of police custody. The problem, he wasn't supposed to be set free. Tonight, that man is back behind bars, but plenty of questions remain. Eyewitness News reporter Joe Holden is in West Philly right now with exactly how this happened. Joe, good evening. Yuki, good evening to you. Philadelphia police say they can't recall this having ever happened. That man who was supposed to go back to prison walked right out the front door. A paperwork mix up at the 18th and attempted sexual assault suspect Russell Bryant left the police precinct a free man at 450 Tuesday afternoon. Bryant, an inmate at Karen Fromhold, was locked up on those sex charges last month. While in jail, Drexel University detectives tied him to another crime, a theft. So on Tuesday, Bryant was transported 14 miles away for a video arraignment at the 18th District in West Philadelphia, even though Karen Fromhold has its own closed circuit camera for court proceedings. After he was arraigned from those charges, he was released on those charges only. In other words, th that offense uh, was not grave enough to result in him staying in custody on that offense. But police say officers at the 18th should have seen two sets of paperwork, one containing the new theft charge and another set that showed Brian was to be returned to jail. Sources say the words do not release are printed in bold black type. Somehow or another in the 18th district CCTV location, those sets of paperwork got detached from each other. Now out of police custody for 17 hours, we're told Brian actually showed up at Drexel University Police to address his theft case. Officers recognized him from alerts Philadelphia police had issued. He was taken back into custody. Police are promising a review of how an oversight allowed this to happen. This shouldn't happen in a perfect world, so we have to figure out what we need to do to close this up to make sure that this doesn't happen. Thankfully, that there, was no, there were no catastrophic consequences to this. Now, as you can imagine, there are inherent risks when inmates are transported to and from these various locations to appear on closed circuit camera. Now, most of these cameras exist at districts across Philadelphia and at the CJC and also at the jail, as we pointed out. And right now, Philadelphia police after this incident are reviewing if there is a more efficient way to conduct these closed circuit proceedings. That is the latest live in West Philadelphia. Joe Holden, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.